Hey guys, what's up? My name's Kayla from Planning with Kay and welcome back to another video. Just like that, May is nearly over, June is almost here, so you guys know what that means. It's time to set up all of my June spreads in my bullet journal. If you've been following along with me recently, you probably noticed that this journal looks a bit different than what you're used to, and that is because I actually just finished my current bullet journal. I've been using this Archer and Olive notebook here and it has served me well the last few months. I've been using the heck out of it since quarantine and lockdown and all of that started. I'm very excited to be moving into this new one to have a flip through and a migration video coming up soon to go with this whole migration into a new journal. Lots of fun stuff coming up on my channel, so make sure you're subscribed down below, hit that notification bell so that you know when that flip through and migration video comes out. So as usual, I asked you guys in my last month's plan with me video to leave your best June theme suggestions in the comments. I read through those, compiled my favorite suggestions along with the most popular ones into a poll over on my Patreon. That's patreon.com slash planning with K. Every single month over there, I have all of my patrons vote on what my next theme is going to be. And I'm so excited that this month, the winning theme was a fruit and veggie farmer's market theme. Thank you so much to everybody who suggested this theme in the comments. I have your comments featured right here. Don't forget to leave your July theme suggestions down in the comments of this video. Again, I'm gonna be choosing my theme the exact same way, going through those comment suggestions, compiling it into a poll on my Patreon and having my patrons vote. If your suggestion is chosen as the winning theme, not only will your comment be featured in my next month's Plan With Me video, but I'll also be designing an entire new sticker collection and bullet journal setup based on that theme. All right, so without any further ado, introducing my brand new farmer's market themed sticker collection. I'm so proud of how these turned out. I really feel like these stickers are unlike anything I've ever designed before. The bright rainbow color scheme, the bold black backgrounds, it just pops, it's fun, it's vibrant, it's perfect for Pride Month if you wanted to celebrate that in your journal as well. And I'm just so excited to set up my June spreads with this new theme today. So as usual, I designed this entire sticker collection here using my iPad Pro and Apple Pencil and the app Procreate. I have a time lapse going right here since I know you guys love seeing behind the scenes stuff about how I make my stickers, how I do my designs, everything like that. And I actually have like 10 hours of design live stream footage available from this last month. I'm always designing my new stickers on live streams on Patreon, but three hours of that is actually available in a public YouTube live stream where I designed some of these headers here. So if you're interested in checking out any of those live streams, the public YouTube one or all of the live streams on my Patreon, I'll have everything linked down in the description as usual. This entire sticker collection is available for purchase right now in my shop. That's planningwithk.com. And you can also use the code FARMERS20 for the entire next week for 20% off your entire order. That's everything in my shop, 20% off. And I'm also so excited to finally announce that I have brought back the digital sticker section of my shop. This entire collection is available digitally as well as the last year or so of designs. So be sure to check out that digital section if you're a digital planner or maybe prefer to print your stickers yourself at home. If you wanted to receive this collection even sooner or get your hands on that Patreon only sheet, you can also sign up for Patreon anytime before June 1st. If you do, not only will this collection ship out to you on the 1st, so that's the quickest way to receive these stickers, but you'll also gain access to all of the exclusive printables, live streams, coupon codes, everything else that Patreon has to offer. All right, so with all of that out of the way, I think I got all of my announcements done. It's time to jump right in to my new bullet journal and start setting up some June spreads. All right, leading off into this June setup here, I'm gonna be setting up a cover spread that's just gonna be an awesome way to get excited about the month and excited about setting up all of these spreads. So I'm gonna be using watercolors for the entirety of this setup today. This is a Kurataki watercolor set that I believe you can just order on Amazon. My mom actually purchased this for me as a gift, which was so sweet of her and really came in handy for getting a super bright, vibrant rainbow color scheme on all of these spreads. So I am starting off by creating this giant rainbow splatter on the left side of this spread, just grabbing 
rainbow colors straight from the pan here, no mixing required. Making sure to use a little bit of water with the paints, that way the colors are able to all blend together. Luckily, I'm using an Archer and Olive notebook, which has very thick paper that is totally up to the test when it comes to watercolors. Now on the right side of the spread, I am gonna be doing a decorative quote to celebrate Pride Month which is the entire month of June, and that is gonna say, always be proud of who you are. I just use those same watercolor colors to create the word proud. I love the effect that this created. So I'm also gonna be using some black paper to go along with this theme. I just printed some black sheets of paper onto sticker paper. That way I could just peel off the backing and stick them right in super easily. This was so that I could use my white gel pen over top. I tested my white gel pen on a few different black markers and such, but I found that the black paper really created the most bold and dramatic look, and I really love how that turned out. So after writing in my June header with that white gel pen, I'm going to start laying in this awesome rainbow fruit and veggie swirl that goes across this entire page here. I'm having it also look like it's kind of going behind that black header by cutting some of the stickers at a straight edge. It's a super easy and effective technique that I love using with my stickers to make it look like they're going in front of and behind things. Once I create that rainbow swirl, I'm gonna use that same white gel pen to then draw in some little white flowers to finish off that June cover page there. Now to finish off this quote page, I'm just putting in a thick black border around the entire thing with a Tombow Fudenosuke soft tip brush pen. And I'm now finishing my quote with a Tombow mono drawing pen, that same black Fudenosuke brush pen, and the same white gel pen that I've been using. And as usual, all of the supplies that I'm using today are gonna be linked down below. So if you wanna use any of the same pens and watercolors and such that I'm using, be sure to check out all of the information in the description. Once I stick some extra decorative stickers on the right side, that is it for my cover spread leading into June and it's time to set up my main June calendar. So if you watched my last month's plan with me video, you know that I experimented a ton with Dutch doors. I made like eight Dutch door spreads or something like that in that last video. And a couple of those Dutch door experiments really paid off and I really ended up loving them. So I'm gonna be creating these decorative Dutch door sidebars for my monthly calendar and my monthly dashboard spreads here. I'm cutting some black paper five spaces wide to cover up the left and right five spaces of this Dutch door spread. I just cut off the right five spaces of the right page and that creates these decorative sidebars that are visible no matter which way I flip this page. So I'm now creating my main header at the top here using one of those large decorative stickers from the monthly kit. And now I'm going in to create my calendar. So each day here is gonna get a space that is four boxes wide by five boxes tall. And I'm sectioning off the top row of each week to be a space to write in the dates. I'm just coloring that in black with my Tombow Fudenosuke soft tip brush pen. In my opinion, this was the best pen to use to use that white gel pen on top of. The white gel pen comes out really nice and white and crisp. It doesn't soak up any of that black ink. So now I'm gonna be using those watercolors again, this time to create a rainbow stripe across the page. And this is gonna be for my weekly headers along with my task list header on this front calendar page here. So this is a really easy and fun technique. Even if you haven't used watercolor before, I definitely recommend you trying this out. This was so fun and so effective. So I now decided to make this even more of a Dutch door spread by cutting off that top header. So that way I could actually have that whole header be visible when I flip the page. After that, I'm creating my weekly headers on top of that watercolor once it's completely dried using the white gel pen and then just creating a black drop shadow that really makes it stand out from that rainbow, which I love. After writing in the dates on this calendar and sticking in a couple little boxes of produce at the bottom, I'm now gonna get to work on these sidebars. So on the left side here, I'm just lettering in a simple quote that says, now is the time to grow. And on the right side, I'm doing 
an entire rainbow gradient of fruits and veggies down the side. And that is it for my main June calendar, which means I'm gonna flip this Dutch door here. You can see all of our decorative bits and our header are still visible. But here is where I'm gonna have my monthly dashboard. So this is gonna be a section for some notes for the month, just kind of like a random brain dump note section along with a check-in section and a spot for me to jot down my social media numbers along with my financial account numbers. And this is gonna be a good way for me to just see how my numbers are changing throughout the month, hopefully growing, but I won't jinx myself. And then at the bottom of this page, I'm creating a spot for me to reflect on what worked and what didn't work throughout that month. So I just created some more of those rainbow headers on the right side, and then I stuck in one of those stickers from the Patreon-only sticker sheet at the bottom of the left side. And now I'm just gonna write in all of my various headers to finish this spread off. I really am loving this whole color scheme that I have going on here. I love how this Dutch door spread turned out, and I'm very excited for June to start so I can start using these spreads. After laying in a couple finishing details, like some outlines around my boxes, some drop shadows on my headers and such, that is it for this spread here. I love how this turned out and let's move right along to the rest of my June monthly spreads. So the next spread I'm setting up is gonna be my daily review spread. This is a tried and true spread for me, one of my favorites, and it's usually a spot for me to jot down a summary of each day, along with a section to track my mood. So this month I'm creating another sort of Dutch door spread here, this time for my mood tracker. So this little window at the top is going to house a little baby mood tracker and below that I'm gonna have all of my sections for my daily summaries. So I'm creating another rainbow header all the way across the page and I'm gonna have one week per page here. And that Dutch door makes it so that I can flip the page and have two more weeks and still be able to see my mood tracker at the top. You'll see exactly what I mean once this is all set up. So I'm just creating some black sections for my headers for each day of the week. After that, I'm gonna label each week. I think it's really fun that I've split this up weekly this month. I've never ever done this before and this gives me a ton of room for my daily summaries as well. Four lines per day is what I get. So I'm really excited to use this throughout the month and it'll give me a chance to kind of reflect more each day on what happened that day. So now I'm gonna finish off this part of the spread with my mood tracker at the top. I'm using a little calendar sticker that comes with my freebie sticker sheet. That's a sticker sheet that comes with all orders and all Patreon rewards just as a little extra freebie. And if you've been following me for a while, you might recognize this, but I decided to go back to a sassy mood tracker as I call it. But you can see that my moods this month are gonna range from best day ever to productive af, all right, eh, blah. And then ending with my favorite, which says, "'Twas a shit day." At least it'll make me laugh if I'm having a bad day. <laughs> but I like bringing back my sassy mood tracker now and then, so I figured this was a good month for it. So now I'm just going to flip that Dutch door and create the rest of my daily sections here the exact same way, just repeating what I did. And you can see here how I managed to fit in the extra two days of the month there. And once I have all the rest of my headers jotted in with my white gel pen, that is it for my daily review spread. I love the Dutch door style layout I did this month and I'm excited to be able to have all this extra space to jot down my daily summaries during this month. Moving right along, I'm gonna be setting up a playlist page for this month. This is something that I've been doing for the last couple months and I've really enjoyed it. It's just a section to jot down some songs, podcasts, and shows that I'm really enjoying right now. There's really no necessarily practical purpose for this spread, but I think it'll be something fun to look back on I'm curious about what I was into during this time, this will kind of be like a little snapshot of that. 
So I'm cutting out all of my little album covers and arranging them on the page here. Again, I always just print everything on matte white sticker paper. It makes it really easy and I don't have to deal with any glue or tape or anything like that. And you can find sticker paper like this anywhere. You can search on Amazon or go to your office supply store, whatever's easiest. It's really easy to come by. So now for my sections where I'm actually going to jot in the names of these songs and shows and podcasts, I'm just cutting some more pieces of black paper like I've been doing for this entire setup. This is really so easy and it just creates such a dramatic look. I'm definitely going to be using some of these techniques in future plan with me's with the watercolor and cutting out and using paper in my journal. I really am loving how this is looking and it's giving me so many ideas for future spreads that I can set up. So now all that's left to do is fill in my playlist here. I have a few songs. We got Charlie by Mallrat, Jesus Christ, 2005 God Bless America by 1975 and Phoebe Bridgers, Kyoto by Phoebe Bridgers, Souvenir by Boy Genius, God in Jeans by Ryan Beatty, and then I have the podcast The Office Ladies and two shows, Working Moms and Guys Grocery Games. All of these songs and shows and podcasts have been on my radar recently, so this is definitely a very accurate playlist spread this month. On the right side of the spread, I'm going to be creating a schedule for all of my Patreon and YouTube and Instagram live streams this month, and I'm using this printable calendar from my Patreon. I have tons of printables available over there, including monthly calendars, weekly spreads, quote pages, all sorts of fun stuff. So. Be sure to check out my Patreon. The lower tiers like $1, $3, $5 include all sorts of downloads that I'm sure you guys will love. All right, so moving right along now, I am gonna be setting up all of my weekly dashboards for the month of June. These weekly dashboards are the key to my planning recently. And each weekly dashboard here is gonna include a spot for my habit tracker, my bill tracker, my gratitude log, as well as a spot to keep track of any live streams that are coming up. So I create some more of those rainbow stripes here for some upcoming headers and I also created my main header at the top of the page with some black paper and a couple decorative stickers. Now I'm going to be giving each day a space on the left page here that is four spaces tall just laying in these black header stickers from the monthly kit over that rainbow stripe on the left. And this is gonna be my section to keep track of my bills and my live streams for the month. So I'm creating the headers at the bottom of the page here, as well as for my gratitude log and my habit tracker on the bottom of the right page. After creating my header on the top of the page here with my white gel pen and some rainbow fruit and veggie stickers, I'm creating my dates on the left side, again with all of the same supplies that I've been using this entire time. Like I said, I also have my gratitude log on the right side of this spread here. I'm giving myself two lines per day just to jot down a word or two about what I'm grateful for that day. At the top of the page, I'm gonna be including a special start of the month task list. I don't necessarily include a task list on every weekly dashboard, but I'm exceptionally busy at the start and end of each month, so I thought it would be a good idea for this week. So moving right along in my setup, I'm just gonna be setting up the rest of my weekly dashboards. All of these spreads are basically gonna have the same components, a spot to keep track of my bills, my live streams, a gratitude log, and a habit tracker. But I love switching up the layout very much throughout the month. So you'll see that all of these layouts are very different, but they all basically serve the same purpose. And this just keeps my journal exciting. It makes it so that I'm looking forward to using the next weekly spread. And this has totally eliminated the problem I had with actually keeping up with my spreads throughout the month. And now it's so easy for me to continuously be keeping up with all of my trackers because each spread keeps it fun and different. So I created some decorative sidebars here just like on my monthly calendar spread and I'm going to be giving each day here a section that is five spaces wide. So I created a rainbow header along the top and I now have my section headers to the left. So you can see that I got my four sections there, my habit tracker at the bottom, 
And this is gonna give me all the space I need to keep track of all of these various weekly trackers and logs that I like to have. I'm now just gonna finish this weekly dashboard off by writing in my weekly headers at the top using this fun connected cursive font style in that white gel pen. And I'm gonna create a decorative section in the bottom right. I'm first just laying in a colorful watercolor background there. And while I wait for that to dry, I'm gonna fill up my decorative sidebars with some rainbow fruit and veggie stickers. You know the drill at this point. I feel like my theme and my color scheme is coming across pretty loud and clear. After doodling in some little white flowers to fill in the rest of the empty space in those sidebars, I'm gonna letter in my quote, which says, you harvest what you sow. And that is it for this weekly dashboard and it's time to move on to the next week in June. So on the other side of this Dutch door spread, I'm gonna have June 15th through 21st. This time I'm gonna be splitting this spread into four columns to keep track of everything for this week. So I'm using the Patreon only sticker sheet and using some of those long sort of decorative panels, which are really fun and combining them to create this long decorative strip at the top of the page. It came together perfectly and like met in the middle. It's very satisfying. So I'm now just to create all my headers using some of these paint stripe header stickers from the monthly kit along with that same white gel pen and just like all the other spreads I got a section for my habit tracker my gratitude log my bills and my live streams and that's basically it for this spread as far as function goes now I'm gonna be creating just some decorative splotches at the bottom of the page this was so fun I haven't really ever dove into watercolor to this extent in my bullet journal and I feel like a fool for not doing it sooner I had so much fun using watercolor even though I had to wait a bit for things to dry in between. It was totally worth it, very therapeutic, and I had a really good time setting up this entire monthly setup. And moving along after that, it's time to set up my next weekly dashboard. I'm creating my main header at the top of the right page here for June 22nd through 28th. This is gonna be the last full week of the month. On the right side here, again, I'm creating my different sections for the week. On the left side, I have a task list for this week. Like I mentioned earlier, the beginning and the end of the month are always busiest for me. Especially this last week of the month is when I ship out Patreon rewards and have all sorts of things due. So I like to have a task list. And then next to that, I have my gratitude log, just creating these little circular header backgrounds with the rainbow watercolor. Below that, I'm creating my weekly habit tracker, just like I have been for this entire month, using a decorative square sticker from the Patreon only sheet to fill in the empty space to the right of that and just finishing this up by entering in all of those headers for my habit tracker and my gratitude log now on the left side of the spread I'm gonna give each day a space that is five spaces tall and I'm giving each day this little circular rainbow splotchy header. This is gonna be my sections for keeping track of my bills and my live streams for the month. I'm realizing now that I accidentally wrote gratitude again, but I'll fix that. This is actually gonna be where I'm gonna jot down my live streams. So each day is getting its section here and this is now my favorite detail of this entire setup. I took a sticker that matched the color of that splotch. I don't know what better word to use other than splotch, splatter maybe, and just stuck that right over top. And something about this is so satisfying. I'm just using these little rainbow weekly headers to finish up the headers for each day here. And that is it for my last full weekly of June. All that's left to do is create some sections for the last couple days of the month. This is actually gonna have a section for Monday the 29th, Tuesday the 30th, and then a section for Wednesday the 1st. I thought it'd be nice to have a little spot to sort of pre-plan for the first day of July. So I'm creating these headers here using these rainbow headers from the monthly kit add-on sheet. Each day is getting a spot that is eight spaces tall and using some more black paper to create the rest of these headers here. 
Now at the bottom of this page, I'm gonna have a spot for an end of month review, basically just a little journaling section for me to write down anything I want to, to reflect on the month of June. So I'm creating my last rainbow stripe header there and finishing this page off with that last header and some little decorative stickers. Now I'm gonna be finishing this whole setup off with another super fun decorative page. I actually scanned in a couple of these spreads or a couple of these pages, I should say, and posted them as printables on my Patreon. And this quote page here is one of them. It's available for the $5 plus Patreon tiers. So if you're interested, you can receive that along with that first June cover page that I did. I also created a printable of that. I just had so much fun creating these super dramatic rainbows. Obviously, Luna enjoyed it as well. She couldn't resist coming up to visit at the end of this video. And since I was almost done setting everything up, I just let her stretch across the whole table. It didn't really bother pushing her away, but I know you guys like seeing her, so I figured you wouldn't mind that half of this screen is basically just Luna being cute. But so I'm lettering in my final quote here that again celebrates Pride Month and says, don't be afraid to show your true colors. I'm finishing the quote off with some more black paper and I actually made a little mistake here and wrote in color instead of colors, but I was able to like perfectly maneuver an S into that curve there and you can't even tell. It was amazing. But with that, I am done with all of these spreads. Let's scooch Luna out of the way and see everything that I set up today. I'm seriously so proud of these spreads. Proud is the right word. I really went outside my comfort zone with everything about this setup, the layouts, the color scheme, the black backgrounds, and it totally paid off. This is my favorite setup I've ever done. I am more excited for June than ever, and I just can't wait to start using these spreads. And just like that, guys, I am done with my June bullet journal setup. Luna was crying on the ground for me, so I scooped her up for the outro here. But thank you guys so much for watching. I am so in love with how this entire setup turned out. And don't forget that if you want to receive this farmer's market fruit and veggie themed sticker collection that it is available in my shop, you can use the code FARMERS20 for 20% off any order for the next week. Or you can sign up for Patreon by June 1st to receive this collection even sooner. Sooner. All the links to everything I mentioned will be down below. And also don't forget to leave your best July theme suggestions down in the comments. Just like I did this month, I'm gonna be choosing my July theme based on your suggestions by compiling some of those into a Patreon poll. If you want the chance to vote on that next theme, you can join Patreon for just a dollar to gain access to that poll along with some monthly printables and whatnot. And if we choose your theme, then your comment will be featured in my next month's plan with me video. And I'll be designing an entire new sticker collection and bullet journal setup based on that theme. And with that guys, that is it for this video. If you liked it and enjoyed watching me set up these spreads today, consider giving this video a like and subscribe down below. Hit that notification bell so that you know when I'm posting my new migration video and flip through video that are coming up. Follow me on Instagram if you're not already at Planning with K and join the Patreon community at patreon.com slash planning with K. Everything will be linked down in the description below and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.